Welcome to my YouTube channel Ratatouille. We are today we're gonna make beignets souffles. Wee oui, wee. Oui. Here we have the main ingredients: butter, eggs, flour, icing sugar, half a teaspoon of salt, 125 milliliters of water, 125 milliliters of milk. Stage one: we've got a pan on the stove onto a medium heat. Add our 125 milliliters of water and 125 milliliters of milk into the pan. Straight after that, fifty grams of butter in the pan melts. As you can see, the butter is starting to melt. Don't worry if you mess this up the first time because this dish is not one of the easiest shoe pastry is quite advanced but why not give it a go now the butter is melted bring it to the boil and add 175 grams of sifted plain flour mix So all the water is reduced down and the flour is mixing in what we're aiming for is a dough like consistency as you can see. Pull it off the heat. So we've taken out the shoe dough pastry out the pan and put it into container and we've caught, left it to cool down. What we're going to do now is add gradually add two eggs. So put the first egg in and mix. Mix, 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 mix. Keep mixing, keep mixing, keep mixing, keep mixing. Instead of using a spoon, I've got the electric blitzer out. It's going to help you along a lot easier. When you've got a mixing bowl, or the electric mixing bowl, put it in there. Don't do it by hand. So if you do it by hand, it's going to take you ages. So the first egg is in. In with the second egg. Same again. Lifts away. There we have it. A beautiful, smooth beignet souffle, choux pastry consistency. Ready to go. Let's get the pan on. So we've got the pan on the stove with the oil for a shadow fry. All we're going to do is get two tablespoons in a round shape canal straight in. You want to cut these for about five minutes, so light and fluffy. There's the gun and brown on the outside. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Beautiful. You can see now these are coming up absolutely beautifully. The key to this is getting that oil the right temperature. So I would think 190 is probably a bit too high. So let's get it down about 140. And if that's still high, get it down lower. And here we go with the end product. Enjoy. <laughs> 